Right, welcome back again everyone. Uh, today's video is going to be on, this is a part of the faceting machine. This is for all you faceting machine people that like to watch my videos. Um, this is where the um, grinding media goes on. And what he wants, he obviously wants that, I don't know if I can get that in the right light, you might be able to see that. All these scratches and stuff that's on there, they want that faced off so that's dead flat. And on this side, you can see the gap between my ruler and the actual pulley thing itself, you can see there's a gap there. They want that machine down so that's flat. So this is just all one flat piece there. So I'll take that to the lathe and I'll do this side first. Hopefully I can hold it in the free jaw chuck. And I'll, yeah, I'll do this side first and I'll flip it over and we'll machine this side. Alright, so we'll head to the lathe and machine it up. Okay, the first thing I need to do is swap it, take this four jaw off and put the three jaw on. I need to change these jaws out to the reversible ones. Okay, we'll put the reversible jaws in. They're all numbered one to three. If you have a look on the jaws, I'll have a number on them. So you gotta make sure you get the scroll around to where it's just the, th the, part of the first part of the thread on the scrolls coming around. Put number one in first. Find a jaw with number two on it. That's next. Last one, number three. Okay, just make sure you got it all in correctly. You make sure you wind jaws all the way in so they meet up exactly in the middle. Just a double check. There you go. Yes, I do. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll machine this side first, just get it flat, level with the outside here. Oil.
Okay. That side's finished. I'll swing it round and we'll set it up for the other cut on the other side. I don't know if this is a different metal on this side. It looks like there's a... I don't know. We'll see how we go. We'll know when I start to cut it. that finish a bit better so what I might do is change out that insert and run from the inside out with the cut hopefully that might cut a bit better all right so I've changed out the tip and I've reversed the feed on it so it goes from the inside out and I'll spray some WD-40 on it this time just to help it lubricate a bit because that's just horrible all right let's have a go the other way around see what happens percent better all right what I might do just hit that with a bit of emery cloth or something I don't even need it it's dead smooth I might just hit it with some scotch bright so I can polish that up a bit let's make it look a bit more shiny absolutely perfect but I don't want to stick my fingers on it and make it all greasy beautiful and shiny okay let's take that burr off on the inside of there Happy with that one. Take it out. Oh, put my fingerprints on it. Hmm. Like a mirror. Okay, that's how it turned out. So just a change of tool direction and a bit of lubricant made all the difference. All right, so that's that side done and that side done. As you can see, it's all machined down nice and flat now, the whole thing. And all the score marks are taken out. Can't believe how shiny that is. All right, this job's all finished. 
So thanks for watching, and on to the next project.